Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about spirit filled Christians never get midlife crisis. So, in short, if you want to know what a midlife crisis is, it's when you, when you, they say, I think, what well, they say, ec experts say that it's when we get to 50, about that age, some might experience it earlier, don't really know, but they say when they get to a certain age, 50 normally, they, they, they they get they, they get on they get they get they get on well which I've which, which is what I've seen on on TV as well they get they feel a bit unwell and not just that the, the experts say that when you when when you when you haven't dealt with something in the past like you know not having not want not having kids or not being able to do what you want in life not being able to fulfill not not being able to fulfill your calling in life then you get to a stage where you just sort of like feel unwell and panicky and stuff like that when you and they say people start driving fast cars and want to be, be be younger and youthful and stuff like that but as it as a christian a spirit-filled christian when they're deep when they're really deep into christianity deep into god very deep with god with deep very deep with the lord I'm not saying it should they shouldn't have it but they, they normally it's not a normal thing for them to have midlife crisis a christian a spirit filled born again spirit filled christian we can go around and start thinking and saying that anyone can have a midlife crisis not everybody has a midlife crisis it's only those who have not found their calling who have not who have not found found christianity that that gets midlife crisis so if you're going through a midlife crisis the perfect time the perfect time is now to become a christian because if you try to find it in in, in any other in, in any other religion chances are you, you won't find it because it's only jesus that brings healing physical healing i had i was i had a i had a sort of like milk allergy problem but then i re i reversed it by praying praying and praying for healing on my stomach because I used to I used to vomit it up when I when I sorry to, sorry to be graphic I used to bring it back up when I um when I when I drank milk but now I I it goes through a different way and I can I can I can stand I can withstand milk but I can only withstand it once a week because my body doesn't my body is not able to store fat my body doesn't store fat this is why I've been so slim over the years and it's and it's not just with milk it's well it's it's with any it's normally with milk when it can happen with peanuts as well well any kind of nuts any too much nuts will get to get to me as well i think it's a it seems like it's a fattening it's a fattening thing as well because it's protein because protein protein fattens you up and so with with that it yeah so so i got i got healed from that and plus i prayed for a guy i prayed for a guy that I pray for a guy that that was getting hiccups every regularly when I when I was in the barbers with him he was getting he was getting hiccups and he and I prayed for him I laid my hands on him and he and he ended up being healed from it I'm not trying to give you these give you these these testimonies to make to say oh Ricardo Koki is is great you know we should worship him not in a not never never you should never you should never worship a human being but what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to give you this testimony to show you how real and true God is and how how he matters in our in our day-to-day -day lives and if we give all access if we give access to God in our lives all access then he can he can fix it up in a good way in a way that you won't expect and I know we we, we might feel jealous of, of somebody doing the work for us and we not and we're not claiming it for ourselves but in, in actual fact we are claiming it for ourselves because the work that we do for God we do it god god can only do it through us so we by rights we we claim it from god anyway it's our it's our work and i know i know i know most most christians and all christians believe that everything belongs to god it's true it, that is very very much true but you can also put it on the flip side and say it's also mine too you know you can say that as well you can say that as well 
I wouldn't even worry about your you being being older or or, or being fifty or being seventy or, or whatever age whatever age that that's older, and you you might be thinking that you know I've wasted my whole life away. You can easily ask God to 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 make you live to make you live double the age that you've wasted. Like the Bible says, it says I will I will I will I will restore what the locusts have eaten. So God is God is able to repair. God is able to repair and restore what what was lost, what was what was broken. So, yeah, He's able to do that. And and at the right time, in your time and in in His time, in whatever's whatever's whatever is the right right time, but it's normally and always in God's timing. So don't so don't worry about what what you've done in the past. Just fix, be fixed on the future, and 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 God can give us peace, peace that surpasses understanding. So, yeah. So that's really all I have to say in this video. So let me let me just pray let me just pray before we go Heavenly Father thank you for your grace and mercy you put upon us from past present and future Heavenly Father we thank you for peace in our lives oh God fill us with your peace oh Lord peace that surpasses understanding Father help us Father through our through our through our midlife crisis oh God pray your spirit be with us and guide us and strengthen us through our midlife crisis oh God Bring us peace, Father. Peace that, peace that is just crazy peace, Father. Give us, give us true peace as well and happiness, O oh Lord. Help us not not to feel that we've 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 lost it. We've lost what we what we what we what we can't claw back because we can claw back what what was lost, O oh Lord. Like it says in your word, we I will restore what we will, I will I will I will restore what the locusts have, have eaten. I pray, restore them, O oh God. Restore them in Jesus' name, Father. Let them be whole, O oh Lord. Let them be whole, O oh God. Pray, anointing will fall upon that situation, Father. Pray, grace and mercy will be upon that situation. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ on that situation. Pray, anointing will fall upon that situation. Pray, hand be upon that situation. Help us to be to be humble, O oh God, in this situation, in these circumstances, Father. In Lord God, in the, in the blood of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ on that situation. Fill us with your peace, O oh God. Fill, it, fill us with your presence, O oh God. Come right now in our rooms, O oh God, and fill us with your presence, O oh Lord. Pray grace and mercy will, will be upon that situation. Pray not to fall upon that situation. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ on that situation. We pray these things all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Bye for now. Take care.